Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a pumpkin pie spice bundt cake with maple glaze inspired by the pumpkin pie spice craze that's happening this time every year. And I'm starting off with one cup of butter, one cup of sugar, and three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. Flip it up. Okay, that was about three minutes. You could go three to five minutes, try to beat a little air in there and get that sugar Nicely combined with that butter. Scrape it on the side and let's beat it up a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna beat in five eggs one at a time at medium speed. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract on a 15 ounce container of pumpkin. I want the pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling. The pumpkin pie filling already is a lot more watery. And it also has a bunch of the spices and stuff in it. And that's just basically dump that in a pie shell and make the pie. Ooh, turn that down. This is just pure pumpkin right here. Now, three cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and a heaping tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. We'll whisk that together. You can sift instead if you prefer. I'm going to slowly add the flour mixture to the wet ingredients. Let's scoop down the sides a little bit. Let's get these incorporated about another 30 seconds. Okay. Now you want to pour it evenly into your bump pan. You want at least a 10 cup bump pan. This is actually a 12 cup bump pan. I measured it myself. The bump pan, interestingly enough, was invented in 1950 by Nordic Ware. And then in 1966, of course, it became famous at the Pillsbury Bake Off when it won, I guess it didn't win the, the whole thing. I guess it won second place at the Pillsbury Bake Off. It was the Tunnel of Fudge Cake and everybody wanted a bunt cake pan and everybody wanted to make the Tunnel of Fudge Cake and you couldn't make it without the bunt cake pan. I'm just trying to fill in all the spots. I did grease this with shortening and then I dusted it with flour and I got in every single piece that can have any cake in it because otherwise it won't come out right. This is Nordic Ware's 75th anniversary bump pan I'm using right now. It's their 75th anniversary Nordic Ware, not the bump pan. I'm gonna scooch it, get all that down in there. All right, it's gonna go into a 325 degree preheated oven for uh, 55 to 65 minutes and we're gonna see you back here when that happens. It's all baked up and ready to eat. It needs to cool for about 15 minutes in the pan and then we're gonna dump it onto a pretty little plate and let it cool. And we're gonna glaze it with some maple glaze. It's gonna be so good. Okay, while the cake is cooling off, I'm going to make the glaze. It's gonna be four tablespoons of butter three tablespoons of milk, and three tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm gonna take this over the stove. It needs to cook over a medium low heat until the butter melts, and then we're gonna cook it for one minute after that. Okay, this has started to simmer a little bit. We're gonna set the timer for one minute. Okay, we'll let that simmer while stirring. It's got milk in it, so you wanna keep stirring it while it was cooking. And I'm adding one cup of powdered sugar. Okay. All right, it's just about time to turn out our cake. We'll be right back. All right, let's see how this goes. I feel success. Yay, it's perfect. See, look at that. Oh, this is the greatest bump pen ever. My sister De Debbie gave this to me last month for my birthday. I'm so excited. Okay, while it's still a little bit warm, I wanna go ahead and put, pour this glaze on here, but you know what, I'm gonna make it easier on myself and pour it into this measuring cup. It's gonna add a pretty little glaze. I 
for me. There's no right or wrong here. That's one thing I like about bun cakes is you can dress them up however you like. This is elegant looking, isn't this? this you could serve this at a delicious, fancy dinner party, um, but you could also serve it at a, at a just a get together, you and your friends. So, but you could dress it up any way you want. You could put different frosting on here. You could put the, the actual frosting and not just a glaze on here. Or leave it plain, just dust it with some powdered sugar. It's so pretty. I have some chopped up almonds here. These are very finely chopped almonds. I, they were actually sliced almonds and I chopped them up. But you could leave them sliced. You could put some uh, chopped pecans on here, chopped walnuts, um, chopped peanuts, <laughs> chopped macadamia nuts. Any, you know, to me, nuts are, are interchangeable. I don't have like a, a hard and fast rule. If something, if something's in the name, like pecan pie, you probably want to use pecans. But in chocolate chip cookies, if it says pecans and you have walnuts, use walnuts. If you have macadamia nuts, use macadamia nuts. I won't be mad at you and it'll still be good. How pretty is that? Seriously, it's beautiful. Okay, now. If this bottom poofy part bothers you, see how it's kind of poofy on the bottom and it's lifting it up? If that bothers you, cut it off. It doesn't bother me. I don't like wasting cake. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm not gonna cut that off. But if you wanted to, again, it's your cake. You do it the way you will. So anyway, let's see what this looks like inside. This is delicious. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. I appreciate all of you and those of you who st stuck it out through the end. Thank you so much. You take care now.